Hello Interneters and welcome back to the channel. Today it's the start of a new series, hopefully continuing for a fairly long time, and it's going to be Coaster Battles. So I'm quite excited to start this, but where's the best place to start? I think it's Nemesis versus Nemesis Inferno. It's the most compared two coasters, I think, ever, in the UK at least. So why not start that? If you have any ideas on what rides I should be battling, that should be battling at between each other, let me know down in the comments. And let's get into it. First off, we'll talk about everything that's not a opinion, and it's just on paper which is better, so um, the stats of the ride. So I've RCDB, there we go. <laughs> Height. Unsurprisingly, unsurprisingly, Nemesis Inferno wins with uh, 92.5 feet. It's just, it is tall because of um, Nemesis's um, and Alton Towers' height restrictions, so it was going to win anyway. Surprisingly, though, Nemesis at Alton Towers is faster at 50 miles an hour, which it really did surprise me, this one. I thought the height would add to more speed, but no, apparently not. Inversions is a draw. That's both got four inversions. Um, length of ride, Inferno wins at 1 minute 43. Surprising at all, to be fair. And Nemesis is a very short ride, but look at the space they had to fit into. And Nemesis Inferno also wins on the Force with 4.5 Gs. <gasps> Which again surprised me with um, Nemesis. It, just Nemesis to me feels way more intense than Nemesis Inferno. And being described as one of the world's most intense rides, but you know. It is what it is, Nemesis Inferno wins. Therefore, Inferno wins round one. Right now to the more opinion opinion based stuff. If you disagree in the comment, if you disagree, put it in the comments. I'm, I read every comment. I reply to every comment as well. <coughs> not because I don't get that many, so it's not that hard. <laughs> now to the theme. Nemesis, right? Nemesis. I think the theme of Nemesis is absolutely amazing. The digging, the the program to dig underground and then discovering an alien, which is then. A digging program that's unearthed an alien-like creature. I think that is it's it's an amazing theme, especially how they've slotted it in with their building restrictions. The story works well with the coaster because that's what they had to do. They had to dig down, which I really like the theme. Whereas Inferno is themed to a volcano, which is just a loose connection with any theme. However, the, the volcano fits into the jungle-themed area of the park, so. Uh, I really do like the, Nem the Nemesis one. How it's it's very creative, how they've how they've literally managed their restriction and put it into a story based thing. It's I think it's a way better story than uh, Inferno. Cause apart from it being a volcano, is there really a story there? I don't think so. So that is one all. So the next category is the queue. Um, Nemesis has amazing, amazing views from the queue. No matter where in the queue you are, you'll see this core, uh, this coaster ripping around the course. Normally below you or level to you, it is, it is something, and it's very good for filming, for getting the excitement up. You can see yourself getting closer because you can see that when you get lower, you know you're getting there, and uh, so it builds up the anticipation because you're watching it. This queue also gets a high rating because there is no cattle pens whatsoever, and that's what we like to see. The, honestly, cattle pens are the worst things about queues. I, I'll mention this now, but the Smiler is the worst queue I think I've ever had to deal with. Maybe Furious Bako and Shambhala, right, but they're, th the operations in that park aren't great, so that probably didn't help. But, yeah, the cattle pens don't help, so Nemesis has got none, so we've got a very high rating for queue here. Inferno's queues do offer a good uh, do offer good views of the uh, of the ride, but only in small bits. You can't watch the whole thing work. You can see every now and again the train will come over you, or it'll go down the drop, and that's all you can see because of the. I do like the way the queue is based in the jungle. It's nice. It's got loads of trees. It looks nice. It provides good shade in the summer, which is really needed down down south. <laughs> And we've been to Thought Park in some really hot days and then, then shady spots really do help. And again, although there's there's not many cattle pens, but there's a bit more than Nemesis. There's a, there's, but being a busy park, it doesn't surprise me that there is um, the cattle pens in it. But it's not much, so it still gets a high score. Therefore, Nemesis is winning 2-1. Right, 
ride layout, both coasters have amazing layouts. There is there is no no argument against that. Um, however, I think that we all agree that the unique the uniqueness of Nemesis or Alton Towers wins this one. It's without a doubt. It's so unique, um, and this has the, one of the best sequences ever to exist on an invert, like the, the drop into the corkscrew followed by the 170 helix into the zero G roll is one of the best things I have ever experienced. It's so forceful, it's so fast, like it, it is literally my favourite sequence on a coaster. Um, whereas Inferno, yes, it's, it's a very good layout but it's more of a generic B&M layout, like the drop into a loop, um, a couple of corkscrews, and a zero G roll. It's it's more in the same sequence as most B and M um, inverts. So Nemesis is three what the restraints? Well, we were prepared. We we're, we're on about the same coaster here, so the restraints are exactly the same. So it's just a draw. So that means the final result is Nemesis at Alton Towers, um, which I think most people would agree with. Um, it's what my personal opinion would have been before looking at all the stats and looking at it separately. Um, Nemesis is normally rated one of the highest coasters in the country. Nemesis Inferno is not really anything there to see, really. However, I do think if Nemesis had uh, Nemesis Inferno had a different name, it wouldn't be compared so closely, and people would enjoy it a lot more because they're not trying to say, "Oh, well, that Nemesis is better. Well, how would you write this one?" I really do think that if it was named something else, it'd get more love than it actually has right now anyway i hope you enjoy if you have any ideas put it down in the comments below if you disagree with me put it also down in the comments below i reply to absolutely everything i listen to every comment um so like subscribing yeah like and subscribe um always appreciated you can follow me on twitter at aj wildman one or on instagram as aiden wildman and most importantly stay wild Yo!